What's up, guys? Uh, I got an article from, let me see, this is, I think, the Daily Beast, that Jeffrey Epstein has been arrested for sex trafficking of minors. And for those of you who are not familiar with who this guy is, this is the guy who, when you would hear stories of this particular private jet-owning billionaire, he would have, like, his friends, like Bill Clinton, um, Kevin Hart, a bunch of, like, celebrities on the manifest of the airplane. And they would fly to a place called Pedophile Island. And like the the movie director Brian Singer from the X Men, he was part of the guys who was just like molesting and, and having sex with all these little underage kids and a couple of boys as well. And um, I remember a story. One of the boys who was, you know, being molested, said that he was just like he was high as a kite and desperate for help and just running through the island, begging folks, you know, to help him out. Because they was passing them around like a blunt. And I'm thinking that's just the most nastiest, filthiest way to, you know, to to, to handle another human being. You know, especially somebody's son. And I am the father of, you know, young men myself. And just to think, you know, that my son could be, you know, in a situation running for help. And, you know, these film directors and all these high elites, you know, just having their way with them. But nevertheless... He um, is finally uh, indicted again. Previously, he was indicted, but uh, he got a slap on the wrist and nothing ever happened. So it seems as today, uh, later this evening, about maybe 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, he got um, arrested and he will be in court Monday. And this time, if you, if you understand understand where the case is going, th this is basically what happened. When he got, he was friends with Bill Clinton and of course, when you you know when you're a billionaire, you're friends with the president, and uh, all these other power elites. Chances are, not, nothing's really going to happen to you. But he has been sued, uh, and a lot of the lawsuits were actually sealed. And I think because of what happened to uh, Bill Cosby, a lot of the um, prosecutors now have no issue with unsealing documents. And basically, and that that's the one that I, I really kind of don't. I, I like it, but I don't like it that now. When you do have a non-disclosure agreement and you may settle out of court, it seemed that some kind of way, you know, if they really want to get you, they can unseal documents. I didn't know that they can do that, but, you know, well, I'm going to say unfortunately, fortunately that they will. So um, basically in, in the, new, the new indictment, it says, um, which according to two sources, which will be unsealed Monday in Manhattan federal court, which will, which will reportedly allege that Epstein exploited dozens of underage girls in a now familiar scheme paying them cash for um massages and then molesting them or sexually abusing them in his upper east side mansion or his palatial residence in palm beach florida epstein will be charged with one count of sex trafficking of minors and one count of conspiracy to engage in trafficking with minors which could put him away for a maximum of 45 years the case is being handled by the public corruption unit of the southern district of new york so I'm thinking I, I've never ever heard of a billionaire being successfully um, convicted, you know, and, and sentenced to any jail time. Now, of course, internationally, you have, you know, these guys, you know, these uh, oil czars like in Russia and they'll be, you know, put in jail or they'll just be executed or killed some kind of way. But in America, I don't think I think maybe um the guy that stole money, what his name is, um the old Jewish dude, um, I think Bertie Madoff. I think he got a, he may have been a billionaire who was um, convicted, but I don't think he was like a pedophile or nothing like that. But I'm I'm in, I'm really I'm really interested to see the actual case and hope hope that this case actually does go to trial because if he has to testify, they may find this dude dead. If you think long and hard about it, when you the you know like the owner of Pedophile Island and on the manifest of your plane's register is celebrities all these influential people, chances are if you got to testify and save your own ass, you know, vis-a-vis -vis like the mafia and you got to turn state's evidence, you know, and you become a cooperating witness, they're going to kill his ass. And you know how that goes when you, you know, testify against the right people, especially um, political figures. So anyway, that's it. So the guy's been re, um, re-arrested and re, um, re-indicted again. So who knows, man? I'm gonna be watching this shit carefully, but Jeffrey Epstein, for um, those who you don't, you know, who don't really know, this is, you know, this 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 dude has been doing this for a long, long, long time, 
And he will be the first person in a long time, if the case does go to trial, to actually have to testify about, you know, the plane register and, you know, the role that all these other celebrities, you know, played being at pedophile. Or, they, call, really, they call it Orgy Island. There's a bunch of other stupid little names for this particular place that, um, but this is something that's always how it's been. In Hollywood, this has always been the way, you know, you have these guys, you know, they under the radar, real low key people, but they have a lot of influence. Um, the hedge funders, just like the guy, um, he was killing all these, uh, Ed Buck, Democrat guy, he was, you know, poisoning and having sex with all these young black dudes, young, you know, gay black men, he flew under the radar, nobody had no idea who this guy was until black men just kept turning up dead in this dude's house, and all these young girls, you know, have been, you know, making a case to the Miami Police Department, and they just been either settling out of court, or because of lack of certain evidences, they really couldn't convict this dude, but this time it, it, it kind of looks serious because you know when your own lawyer won't make a statement, you know, or won't you know, or, or just decline, you know, to even give a give a comment, you, you know, he faces some, some serious charges because now it's it's the FBI, the NYPD, and like six other um, agencies combined that had to put a, that had to um, build a case against this guy, and um, it took him ten years after his first conviction. To stack all this evidence up, and if you know, like I know, the FBI got a um like a ninety five percent closing rate. I mean, conviction rate. So this shit might be real, guys. Anyway, um, I'm about to go to sleep, man. Hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Also, hit the alert bell if you do plan to subscribe, so you get um alerts because YouTube been suppressing all my videos. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here.